Curriculum Plan and Implementation Assignment. The vignette I chose was that in the art area, you notice Alejandro, a two-year-old student, rolling marbles in a box. You observe Alejandro looking inside the box, and he says, I see four dots, four dots, and one dot. After a moment, Alejandro says, there are nine dots. The educator asks Alejandro, how do you know that? And Alejandro answers, because I know that four and four makes eight, and one makes nine. The overall and specific expectations I chose for this vignette was, the overall expectation is number 15, of demonstrating an understanding of, of numbers using concrete materials to explore and investigate counting, quantity, and number relationships. The specific expectation I chose was 15.5, which was subsidized quantities to five without having to count using a variety of materials. Reflection on the overall and specific expectations. I thought Alejandro was very interested in the marbles and combining them together to find a total of how many marbles were in the box. This was evident when he said, I see four dots, four dots, and one dot. After a few moments, Alejandro says there are nine dots, which was showing the educator his interest in matching and combining all the marbles together together to find a total. This can allow Alejandro to increase his ability to add numbers together quickly and match numbers easily without having to count them as he groups them together and then figures out the total of dots. Skills that are being practiced in this vignette was counting skills as he was counting the marbles and grouping them together in groups of four, four, and then one. Problem solving skills as he knew that there's two groups of four and then one remaining. So he knew that there was eight and then one. His mathematics skills by adding all three numbers together to get his total. And then his language skills when he was communicating with the teacher on how he got that total. The virtual setup of play experience I, I did was a matching game with a dice. The materials you would need are a dice, numbers on a circle piece of colored paper, a caterpillar drawing to match the colors with the numbers on, and a marker to draw the numbers on the pieces of paper. How might children interact with this activity? The children might just roll the dice over and over again, not knowing to match the number on the dice to the colored number pieces of paper with the caterpillar paper. The children could also try to complete the whole activity by matching the numbers with the colored numbers without the dice. How would the educator respond? The educator could respond by giving an example of what to do with the activity. The educator could also ask open-ended questions to further the child's understanding on why each number goes to the matching number. And you could also ask questions like, what if we add two numbers together to get one number on the caterpillar? Would it equal a spot on the caterpillar? Is there another way we could get that number to further the knowledge of a, with the child on whether or not one number just has to be on that or if we could put two good numbers together and put it on one spot. How would children represent their learning? Some children might represent their learning by counting out loud on how many dots are on the dice to then finding the correct number 
on the colored piece of paper to then match it with the number on the caterpillar. Some children might just do the activity non-verbally and complete it in their head without verbally communicating on how to do the activity. They could also write down the number in a different way that they understand, like putting dots instead of the written number or lines. How would staff document the child's learning? Staff could document the child's learning by taking pictures of the child doing the activity. They could also record the child's voice on a voice recorder to hear how the child is working through the activity. They could also make small notes of what the child is doing during the activity.